Hello everyone, today we are gonna looking at what's new with Premiere Pro's text-based editing. For example, you can do bulk actions to your transcripts now. By default, when you search in the transcript, it searches for words. But now, if you want to find filler words, pauses, or bring up search settings, click this icon. The great change they've implemented, though, is when you search, notice that we now have the ability to replace or delete a single instance of the word we have searched for, or all of them. When you delete something, you have the option to lift or extract it. This works for pauses and filler words, too. Check this out. Here's that same recording, and here it says the word, uh, here. Adobe Premiere Pro is uh, a powerful video editing software. It uh, provides a wide range of tools. For so it recognizes that it's filler. So I'm going to X this out. And instead of searching for text, I'm going to look for filler words. And if I scroll up here, there was that filler word. And I have various other filler words here in my script. With all my filler words highlighted, I can now extract or lift them. So if I just hit delete all, that automatically got rid of all the filler words in my clip here. And I go back up to this icon, go up to pauses, and I can do the same thing. Premiere Pro is a powerful video editing software. It uh, provides a wide range of tools for video editing and post-production. Extract, delete all of the pauses that I have here. And that's a quick way to do an initial pass, removing filler words and pauses from this clip. And I can go from here and make my edit. If you want to customize your search settings or the transcript view, there are several ways to do it. You can click this icon and go to search settings, click the three dot menu over here, and click transcript view options. Or you can click this icon in the bottom right for transcript view options. This is where you can show or hide things like your speaker labels, filler words, and designate the minimum pause length. Below that is the criteria you can change in the search settings. Another feature is we now have the ability to choose which channel we want to transcribe when we receive multi-channel audio. It's common in an interview setting that you'll have multiple mono microphones, so sometimes you'll want to choose one channel, and other times you'll want the full mix. That is the ability to transcribe multi-channel audio in Premiere Pro Beta. Try out all these new features yourself today by downloading the beta. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.